Now listen to him. He's not through. Verse 13, he says, "...behold, I am pressed under you as a cart is pressed that is full of sheaves." Now, there are different ways of interpreting this. In fact, I'm told different ways of translating it. And that it's the belief of some that it's rather degrading to think of God as being pressed down like a cart. Well, I don't feel that way about it. My feeling is that God is saying here, you have put me in a difficult situation. You are my people. I put you in the land and I put the Amorite out. Now, here you are committing the same sins they are. Do you expect me to shut my eyes to you because you're my people? I'm being pressed down. Verse 14, Therefore the flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not strengthen his force. Neither shall the mighty deliver himself. Neither shall he stand that handleth the bow. And he that is swift of foot shall not deliver himself. Neither shall he that rideth the horse deliver himself. And he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, saith the Lord. Now, there are some expositors that believe that this refers to that earthquake we'd heard about before. I don't think so. I don't think there's any reference here to an earthquake at all. What I think is just simply this, that they were a strong nation, and God kept the enemy out, and none ever advanced into their land. Now everything is breaking down. The walls of the cities, the enemies come in, and the strong are no longer strong, and those that handle the bow. I think that probably we ought as a nation to do a little thinking about what has happened in our land. We were able in two world wars to cross the sea and to bring an end to two world wars. We became in that a great nation, and we were very proud. We didn't need God at all. We had the atom bomb. And then a little country called North Vietnam. We thought that we would subdue them overnight. One of the presidents in the early 60s, why, he began to send troops in. Then the next president did, and then on. And I'm not attempting to fix blame on any president, but I do say that America should have learned a lesson. We did not win a victory, and we were never able to subdue the little enemy. Now, it is true that we did not want to bring the full force to bear, but it reveals the fact that we are becoming weak as a nation, and we were divided at home. Maybe somebody ought to wake up today, and instead of shutting our eyes to the condition of our land, that we ought to begin to call attention to it that God is already beginning to bring us down as a nation as he brought his own people down. He said, you're becoming weak, and you don't seem to realize that I'm moving now, and I'm beginning to judge you. That is the message that is there. And no wonder they wanted to run Amos out of town. No wonder they didn't want to hear his message but say he's not through.